Hi everyone, I'm Linda the Style Sherpa and today I want to talk to you a bit about what to do when you're using hot tool on your hair. If there's something you need to do and there's something you need to not do. When you're using a hot tool, it could be a straightening iron, could be a curling iron, I want to make sure that you're not setting your irons above 395 degrees, especially if you have color treated hair, fine hair, delicate hair, even if you have gray hair. Gray hair can be very, very delicate and too high of a heat can instantly singe the hair shaft and damage it. So you want to be very careful. Your heat is not set above 395 degrees. The other thing I want you to do, making sure you use a thermal setting spray. It doesn't matter which one you use. There's lots and lots and lots of these on the market right now, but the thermal setting spray is really important. It gives a barrier between the hair and the hot tool, okay? So it's very protectant. It helps the iron go through the hair really gently, as well as you won't have to over iron the hair consistently. It actually makes it smooth, closes down that cuticle, and gives you the result you're looking for as well as the hold you're looking for. So thermal setting spray along with a 395 degree iron gives you the perfect combination to get where you want with your hair really quickly and consistently without any damage. Most important thing I want you to remember, don't use hairspray. It is not a thermal setting spray, it's a finishing spray. Entirely different, you do not want to add heat to a hairspray because that is where a lot of damage occurs when you're heating lacquer. So remember not to use your hairspray until you're finished your design. I'm Linda the Style Sherpa. Join me here, follow me on my channel and on YouTube to learn more about how to improve your style. Thank you for watching.